Liberal Party room, Parliament House, Canberra, where an historic decision is about to be made, a decision that will result in the appointment of Australia's Prime Minister. Contenders for the country's top office face a ballot by party members of the Senate and the lower house, one of the most dramatic in the party's history. Now he must follow in the footsteps of Curtin, Chifley, Menzies and Holt, and the many others who have made Australia a power in the Pacific. We wish him well. Steps of Government House Canberra, Governor-General Lord Casey, Country Party Leader McEwen, the new Prime Minister Senator Gorton and Federal Treasurer McMahon greet the public and press. Prime Minister Gorton gathers in the reins of office at a critical time in Australia's foreign relations with Singapore and Great Britain. But activity is nothing new to war veteran John Gorton. As Minister for the Navy, he was aboard the HMAS Melbourne during the naval exercise, Operation Shop Window. Later he flew in one of the Navy's sea venoms from the carrier's deck. Earlier, Senator Gorton had returned to the scene of many of his wartime experiences, New Guinea. Here in Madang, he witnesses the opening of a memorial for the gallant volunteer coast watchers who had given their lives during hostilities in the islands. New South Wales Jarvis Bay Naval College and the then Naval Minister Gorton takes the salute at the college graduation ceremony. Now, the new Prime Minister faces the greatest challenge of his career. Accompanied by his wife and family, and appearing calm and unruffled, the heaviest responsibility of all is thrust upon his shoulders. Yet in spite of the drama surrounding his election, there will be few dissatisfied with the choice of John Gray Gorton. <laughs>